Thank you, Your Excellency. Allow me to read a statement, a written statement, which is very much unusual of me. On the 8th of May 2022, Pamoja African Alliance signed a coalition agreement with Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. This was, after, this was after a series of consultative meetings with Pamoja African Alliance stakeholders that ended with Paz Neck passing an official resolution to join Ken Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. PA as a political party was founded to pursue a buffet of both local and national objectives. Due to the historical and continued marginalization of the coast region, Pamoja African Alliance prioritized three agenda items so as to address this endemic vice. The first is the land question at the coast. The second is the region's economy. And the third is inclusivity in mainstream public service of the coastal parcel. Since Pamoja African Alliance was not fielding a presidential candidate for the 2022 general elections, and in order to pursue and achieve these objectives, Pamoja African Alliance had to look for a suitable partnership that was willing to specifically commit to address these three main issues affecting the coastal population. Initially, Pamoja African Alliance had hoped to join the Azmio political config configuration. Unfortunately, unfortunately and regrettably, Pamoja African Alliance had to opt out midway of Azmio for three fundamental reasons. Reason number one, why we walked away from Azmio, the legal process for part to be legally in Azmio could not be completed as it was frustrated by the flat refusal of Azimio to make available a copy of the Azimio agreement, which would have enabled PA to table the same before our neck for ratification as demanded by the party constitution. Reason number two, the dealings in Azimio are shrouded in disturbing deep secrecy and mistrust. Consultations and decisions are made by a few and forced down the throats of the majority of the constituent parties. Number three, due to the above two reasons, it became difficult for PA to pursue its three-item agenda for and on behalf of our people within the Azimio configuration. Apart from the usual rhetorics during political gatherings, there is absolutely nothing to show in terms of commitment for the coastal people in the Azimio configuration. In the past and during campaigns, presidential candidates have always verbally promised the coast people heaven only to forget what they promised once they got into power. This time, the coast people were not going to accept anything short of a written commitment that can legally be enforced. Therefore, as a party, we had to seek for alternative partners who were willing to commit in writing the implementation of the three primary agenda facing the coastal people. After short but deep and intense engagement with the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance partners, PA signed a pre-election agreement detailing how the three agenda items will be addressed immediately Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance forms government after the 2022 general elections. And for avoidance of doubt, the agreement provides, amongst other things, that upon winning the presidential election scheduled for the 9th of August 2022, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance administration shall ensure the following within the 2022-2027 development cycle. Number one, reverse all operational changes that have, carried out, that have been carried out in the recent past, whose effect has, has been to relocate some of the core activities 
of the Kenya's main seaport from Mombasa to inland depots in Nairobi and Naivasha. To this end, the necessary administrative and legislative measures shall be undertaken within a year effective 9th August 2022. As you're aware, the port operations have all been moved inland and that has caused immeasurable sufferings to the people of the coast region. Hence the need to reverse that. Two, put in place necessary reforms to ensure the port of Lamu brings measurable employment and other economic benefits to the local communities. Three, revive the cashew coconut and bixa industries, especially in the coast region, by funding the same. Four, involve local communities in the management and benefit sharing of the resources associated with the blue economy. Five, establish a benefit sharing arrangement between the national government and the local communities in the coast region in respect to mining and other natural resources. Six, review the Coast Guard Act and other laws to en enhance the protection of local communities' fishing and other economic activities. Number seven, address the historical land injustices, especially at the coast, including necessary reforms of relevant laws and the setting up of a land compensation fund to assist the locals to progressively acquire or purchase land from absentee landlords. To this end, budgetary allocations shall be provided for to achieve these aims effective 9th August 2022 for the entire five-year period. Number eight, promote inclusivity of residents of the coastal region into the management and equitable benefit sharing of the national assets located at the coast. Lastly, ensure equitable representation of residents of the coast region in national government appointments and the equitable representation in all card of civil service, disciplined forces, Kenya's diplomatic staff, and all sectors of the public service. So these are the core issues that power brought to Kenya Kwanzaa, and we are happy to announce that all these issues have been captured well in the written agreement that was signed on the 8th of May between PA and Kenya Kwanzaa. Now, for the reasons outlined above, we have no doubt that once Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance forms government, a new chapter that will, br that will bring hope to our people will officially begin. You must have noted in my statement that our coming to Kenya Kwanzaa has got nothing to do with individual positions. We are not interested. Ours is to make sure the problems facing our people are given priority. The issues that are always a campaign issue that everyone coming to the coast because they know we have land problems, they'll promise us that once I become president, I'll handle the land question. For over 60 years, prior to independence and even after independence, that has always been a promise of anyone wanting to get the two million votes at the cost. Today, the coastal person is saying, we are not taking nothing short of a written commitment. And we're happy that we couldn't get this in Azimio, but Kenya Kwanzaa have agreed, and indeed they've done it. They have put this as a commitment that if we win, and we're going to win, the 9th of August 2022 elections, <laughs> these issues are not just a promise, they are commitment. It is a covenant between Kenya Kwanzaa and the people of coast. We have no reason as a, re as a region to go elsewhere other than Kenya Kwanzaa. We absolutely feel our plight 
that our pain will be eased in the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. The coastal chapel they're looking for is to end the derogatory and demeaning title of being called squatters in an independent country. That has to end. And it cannot end through promises. It can only end through commitment to walk that journey. And we're happy that that journey has officially begun. Now, for this to happen, Kenya Kwanza must form government. And that's why I call upon my brothers and sisters in coast region that the failing of Kenya Kwanza to capture government on the 9th of August 2022 will spell doom to us as a region. If Kenya Kwanza goes down on the 9th of August 2022, so will our dream as a region. We have a commitment in Kenya Kwanza. We have rhetorics on the other side. <laughs> that is the difference. We have been accused of all sorts after signing this agreement that we've been playing both sides. We have been told that we were demanding to get a copy of the agreement because we wanted to use it to benchmark. To benchmark what? Mm. <laughs> Kenya Kwanza and Azmio are two different legal entities. Absolutely. One is a political party, the other is a coalition. So how do you benchmark the two? <laughs> if you want to fly a plane, you don't go to a car yard to benchmark. But we know why we're here. Our reason to come to Kenya Kwanza is the driven by the desire to finally find a solution to the problems facing our people. Securing positions, we could have secured individual positions in Azimio. But that is not our intention as PA. And I've been telling people that in fact our first intention was not to form a political party. At the time PA was being formed, this country had over 80 political parties. But you felt there was something missing. None of these parties felt the pain the cost person was, fail, was, was feeling. And therefore, power was born. Power is more than a political party. Nikileo Chahaki. Tunalilia Haki. Na safari ya kupata haki yetu imeanza. The first thing is you need to trust your partner. If you're not willing to commit in writing, then you don't mean well for us. You don't mean well to us. If you really want to address the problems facing the coastal person, why is it so difficult to commit it in writing? But they can't. Why? Because they know they won't do it. That will not be tolerated by our people. And this time around, our people have said, look here, we are not going to accept nothing short of a written commitment. And thank you. Deputy President, thank you with your Kenya Kwanza uh, Alliance team for accepting to put these issues and taking them as a commitment that once you're sworn in as the fifth president of this country, you will address these issues. Not everybody who calls upon the Lord's name will go to heaven. 
not everybody who calls himself the fifth. <laughs> becomes the fifth. <laughs> Power today brings to this team a lot of determination and energy to win the elections. That's what we bring to this team. We bring good faith to the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance team as a party. We have just walked away from this honesty. We hope we don't find it here. We have walked away from mistrust. We hope we don't get it here. We have walked away from political deceit. We hope we don't get it here. We hope that respect and trust will be the glue that binds this alliance. In power, you have a formidable partner. In power, we talk less and do more. We will do whatever is within our powers to look for votes where we can. Na kama livo kwambia, signing of this agreement, or rather agreements, is the easiest thing to do. Everybody can sign a coalition agreement, but not everybody can win an election. We have done the easy part. Bwana Chief Hustler, we have done the easy part of signing this agreement. It is the easiest thing to do. Now, we need to fold the sleeves, go to the villages, scale the mountains, descend the valleys, and bring the presidency home. It can be done, and it shall be done with God on our side. Waswahili anasema kupanda mchongoma si ngoma. Ngoma ni kushuka mchongoma. Kutia mikataba kama hii si huja. Mtu yote yule anaweza kutia sahihi mikataba kama hii. Lakini kilichobaki ni kufunga vibwebwe, kukunja mikono ya mashati, kukunja masuruale yetu na tukubali kuingia katika mashimo kwenda vitongojini kupanda milima kuteremka mabonde kuhakikisha kwamba tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tunakuchagua kama rais wetu wa jamhuri ya Kenya kama rais wa tano na tunajua kwa nguvu ya Mwenyezi Mungu utapishwa kama rais wa tano wa jamhuri ya Kenya. Sisi hatupigi kifua. Hiyo ni biashara ya kule tulikotoka. Sisi hatumimini wala kumwaga matusi. Hiyo ni biashara tuliacha kule tumetoka. Sisi tumekuja kwa unyenyekevu na heshima. na ombi letu ni kwamba yale yote ambayo yamefanya tuchukue virago tuje hapa tusiyapate mambo haya katika upande huu na uzuri ni kwamba tumepata hakikisho sahihi kwamba katika sehemu hii ama katika Kenya Kwanza Alliance heshima ndio kitu cha kwanza respect Hiyo ndo tunahitaji Manake Mungu japo akatumba tofauti 
lakini sote ni viumbe vyake na tunastahili kuheshimu ama kumheshimu mwanzako kwa hivyo kama pa sisi tuko tayari kuchana mbuga kama pa tutapaa kama ule pa kule mbugani kwa kisha kwamba baada ya kupaa huku kote tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mwaka huu tunatua katika ikulu ya jamhuri ya Kenya ukiangalia yale matakwa yote ambayo nimezungumzia kutoka kuhusu wakazi wa pwani hii yote inaashiria kitu kimoja tu kumtoa mtu wa kawaida kumtoa mwananchi wa kawaida kutoka hali ya ufukara na kumleta katika hali ambayo anaweza kumudu hali ya maisha nasikia hiyo hapa kwenu mnaita bottom up hapa mnaita hivyo sio we have to take the biggest population of this country that is wallowing in poverty from where they are from the state of hopelessness to a state where they can proudly say i'm a kenyan and i believe with what past stands for and what kenya kwanza stands for kenyans have reasons to smile once kenya kwanza demonstration is in place we thank you and may god bless you thank you very good